Alex, three years ago, devastating flooding hitting Waverly, killing 20 people there. And Jaxie Pigeon joins us now in studio this morning with how the community is honoring those victims today. Well, Blake and Allie, on a day when just a few inches of rainfall was predicted, Humphreys County would be inundated with 17 inches of rain. The historic downpour took the lives of 20 people, making it the deadliest flood event in Middle Tennessee. It also caused widespread property damage and rescue crews had to be deployed to save those trapped in the high waters. Tonight, Governor Bill Lee will join State Senator Kerry Roberts at a candlelight vigil and memorial dedication for the victims of the 2021 flood. It will start at 7 o'clock off of East Main Street next to the former Waverly Junior High School. Roberts, who represents the area, says he'll never forget the outpouring of love and support that followed the devastation, and he's hopeful folks from across Middle Tennessee will show up for his community once again for tonight's service. Sometimes in Tennessee, we just need to let people know we love them. Regardless of their race, their color, their political background, here's somebody who experienced a loss and we have an opportunity to go comfort them, put our arms around them, tell them we love them. And I know that if we were in the same situation, we would appreciate that. Even, in, even a total stranger, you know, just coming and saying, I, I appreciate you and just want to let you know that I'm thinking about you. And ahead of the memorial, Roberts will continue his tradition of biking 100 miles from his home in Springfield to the Humphreys County Courthouse in honor of those who lost their lives that day. And if you can't make it tonight, Roberts says another way you can show up is by supporting local businesses in Waverly.